Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you what I picked up from the Sephora savings event. Yeah, this video is a little bit chaotic, but let's just get into it. I couldn't get my life together to do a recommendations and wishlist video for you, so I'm kind of just lumping everything in in this one video. The first thing I'm going to show you that I picked up from the Sephora sale I am VIB Rouge, so I get 20% off, and you know, why not go ahead and pick up the new Dyson Airwrap. <laughs> ah, I have been loving my older Dyson Airwrap, like, and by old, I mean I got this last year, but this new version, you don't have to change out the barrel, and it's just such a game changer because changing out the barrel is a pain. Also, I have really long hair, so I had to buy the attachment for the longer barrel, and it just it's just too much. It's too much. And I figured, okay, let me just take this opportunity during the sale, get the new air wrap. You don't have to switch out the barrels. There is an actual like switch. I think it's at the top where you flick it and then it reverses directions. So I had to do it. 20% off. I think the rules for the sale are you are allowed to pick up one, one Dyson product. So I had to get this. Okay, next up, these two advent calendars. I've already done an unboxing of the Vespa advent calendar. I highly recommend this if you love candles. That actually is one of the candles back there. I've already picked this up a while ago and I haven't unboxed this yet, so I, I will definitely do a, a full unboxing video. This retails for 85. If you're a VIB Rouge or whatever you are, you get an additional percentage off. So don't worry, I have an unboxing coming. It just got a little crazy here. It was Halloween, my kids are sick, blah, blah, blah. These are all the things that are inside. And personally, I think it's a good deal already just because I, I already love these fragrances. Um, I will use these. I will cherish them. I love the Caudalie Vino Perfect, you know. So for me, I like it. And this is the first time they've offered an advent calendar. And I think this is a good option. Next, I got all three of these fragrance sets. I wasn't going to get any until I saw what was inside. This is the Sephora Favorites Perfume Sampler. This retails for 68. It's the most affordable of all three because you don't get the miniatures of the fragrances. It's just literally the, you know, little vial sample tubes is the inside. You guys, I'm getting this. This smells so good. I didn't think I would love this. I initially went in to just get this and then trade in the voucher for the Dolce Lily. And guess what, guys? I ended up getting two because I love this one so much. I picked my order up in store, by the way, and then right like at checkout, I go and trade in the voucher for the full size. So I got the full size Dolce Lily, and then I bought a second set in store, and then I had them order the Valentino Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. This smells so good. It's so fruity and florally and just so nice. It has Kiwi Accord and Jasmine. I just love it. If you like the, is it Dolce Gabbana L'Imperatrice? It's like a watermelon fragrance, which you would think, watermelon, is that it? Is that a good fragrance? It is. It's really good. So this one has, you just, you smell that Kiwi and Jasmine. It just, I would never think to pair those two together, but it works. So I had them order it, so that is on the way. I got two of these and got the Dolce Lily. Well, the cologne sampler is also a really nice set. I really like this and I wish that the women's version also had a bag that came with it the way the men's cologne set does. The women's versions don't have bags, but that's okay. So I actually got this set last year and I traded this in for the Tom Ford. You guys, this is such a good value. I've done several videos about this, like shorts, TikTok videos, because this Tom Ford ombre leather in the 1.7 ounce retails for $150. But the cologne sampler set is 72. And then with the 20% off, you know, you get this Tom Ford fragrance that's $150. So I already got this last year. I got this set again, and then I traded the voucher in for the Paco Raban solely because it is such a cute little robot. And if my husband doesn't like it, I'll give it to my son. He loves robots. So the cologne sampler. And then the last fragrance sampler, I got the deluxe perfume sampler. This is the one that has the actual miniatures of the fragrances. These are the little deluxe minis. I love all these fragrances. I think I, I, I own pretty much most of these. By the fireplace, I like, but it's not my favorite to wear as a fragrance. I like the candle better. Um, what's amazing about this set is, okay, so I already have the Dylan Turquoise. I think you can redeem this one for only the one, one ounce size. Most of these you can redeem for the one or 1 1.7 ounce. But for some reason, the Juliet has a gun, you can redeem for the 3.3 .3 ounce, like the huge size. 
So when I was in store, I already redeemed it. They had it. And I was able to redeem this for the huge Juliet has a gun large size. This retails for like a hundred something. So definitely a great value at the $80 and then your additional percentage off. And then I got these two sets from Sol de Janeiro. I love their body care and hair care. I've gone through full bottles already for both the shampoo and conditioner. So you get the full size shampoo and conditioner and then you get the leave-in conditioner which I haven't tried but I love the way their boom boom cream smells. So I got this hair set. Uh, this has a leave-in conditioner and then you have the nourishing hair oil. I'm always putting hair oil. I have very long hair. So I just got this set and I figured this would be great. We're traveling for the holidays and I want to be able to have, you know, my body care products with me. And then I got this set also. This is the Sol de Janeiro Radiant Rhythm Bomb Dia Bright Cream set. You get the Boom Boom, well, it's not the Boom Boom Cream. This is the Bomb Dia Bright Cream. This is a little more like florally, whereas the Boom Boom Cream scent is more almond, vanilla, pistachio. Uh, this is more florally and fruity. Oh, sorry, I got the prices wrong. Oops, this actually retails for $30, but the value is $44. And then this one, similarly, this has a value of $68, but it retails for $50, and so I got my 20% off. So this also has a body wash and then a fragrance. So I figured these two together, you have the full like body care set. You have your hair care and then your body care. And then from Tatcha, I love their Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. This is my favorite like nighttime moisturizer and I've gone through a full size of this and then you know I was like I'm going through so many other skincare creams I don't really need to get this because it's kind of pricey this is $88 on its own and I was like okay let me wait until the sale and I can get it because I really I just you can really feel the serum within the cream working I like to mix it with a facial oil also overnight so I was going to just get this cream which was $88 during the sale but this set retails for $88 and then you get this additional Kisu lip mask so I was like okay this how can I say no it's, you're basically getting a free product on something I would have bought anyway so there's the indigo overnight repair cream and then the Kisu Kisu lip mask cannot forget your SPF I got the super goop glow screen this is my favorite favorite facial tinted moisturizer sunscreen because it's an SPF of 40 and then has just a little bit of a tint to give you some color so it's almost like a foundation so it has a little bit of a color but it has spf of 40. they came out with a new color so i didn't even realize there was a name for the original color it was like a very it was like a beige color this is this one is called golden hour this is new and it's a it's like a bronzy color so it looks kind of dark that's it but look how it shears out so if you're a little if you're lighter than me you can still wear this oh my gosh how pretty oh, I just love this I love this so I have to get the darker color this one I figured will give me a little more color because I'm pretty tan but this is my favorite favorite facial sunscreen the super goop glow screen in their new color golden hour okay a boring pick but I really need this this is the tweezer man pointed slant tweezers I heard that tweezer man will actually take in your old tweezers and sharpen them like they have some kind of a lifetime warranty am I just is that am I just making that up is that true so let me know if you guys have have done that but I don't know I just needed another pair of tweezers I have one pair of tweezers it goes with me everywhere and if I lose it I'm just sol so I figured I need a backup tweezer man a new lip product I got was the house labs by lady gaga phd hybrid lip oil in the shade primary i love lip oils guys i just feel like they're so much more nourishing and hydrating and they actually do what i always think that lip glosses should do but they're lip oils this one isn't as runny it has a little bit of a tint not too much and it doesn't really have a scent which is good no additional fragrance but just a little bit of a color nice little lip oil i really like their house labs foundation this is the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I'm the shade 310 Warm. This is a little bit more medium coverage. I usually prefer sheer coverage, but I like this finish. So when I want more coverage, then I opt for this one. More lip products. I got the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. And I ended up getting it in two colors. I originally got this one, the Cinnamon Glow, because I just love the swatches online. It's this really nice kind of a pinky brown 
little bit of a dark color. So that's the color. Isn't that so pretty? My lighting isn't great right now, but it's, it's a little more brown. It actually is a little more pinky, I think, in real life. I just think this color looks so good for medium tan to darker skin tones like me. And I love the formula. And then when I was in store, I ended up trying out more of these. And I just love the formula. So I got this other shade, the Mauve Glow. So it's a little lighter. And it's so pretty. I just love this. I love more lip balms moisturizing hydrating colors so you can see the color there it's, this is a little pinkier and then the cinnamon glow is a little more brown it has a little bit of that plumping effect i usually don't like that but it's not too bad in this the two makeup by mario lip serums in cinnamon glow and mauve glow i also like that the tube is the same color so it's easier to pick it out in your bag Speaking of Makeup by Mario, I ordered the uh, new palette that just came out, I think yesterday. It hasn't even shipped yet, but it's the new Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette. I just, it's boring, whatever, but I will just, I will always use these colors. <laughs> it's just such an easy grab and go palette. I have really been enjoying the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes. I can do everything on my eyes with this palette. It has all these kind of transition shades brow bone color this I use for my eyebrows and then this black for eyeliner it just is so easy and so I figured this would be a similar formula then it also has some shimmers so you know it's a little bit of a dressier eye very basic but I, I really like it and I like his formula and then the other eyeshadow palette I got is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension palette this is actually not a new palette this is his first one but during the last Sephora sale, I got his Major Dimension 2 palette, which is like the rosier shade. And this one is more neutral. So this is it on the inside. Again, very neutral. But what I like about his palettes are you have these two cream shades on the side that actually work as almost like an eyeshadow primer. Or they also intensify your makeup look. You got these shimmery shades here and then just like very basic neutral colors. And then it darkens up here. I like it. The um, Dimension 2 Rose is really pretty, but it's a little, you know, it's rosier. It's red. And sometimes the, the red can make my eyes look irritated, especially if I'm already kind of, you know, feeling sick. Okay. And then funny story. So this candle finally just arrived today. If you look at my Sephora videos from last year, they had this candle sampler set that was similar to the fragrance set. But instead of fragrance samples that you kind of go through and then decide which one you like and then trade in the voucher for a full-size fragrance, they had a candle sampler set where it was a little bigger and then you got a bunch of votive candles like those, you know, the Voluspa votive candles, and then this certificate, and then you can trade it in for a full-size. So I traded it in finally <laughs> for the French Cade Lavender from Voluspa. I talked about this in my Voluspa Advent Calendar review video. The full size of this is gigantic. It is this 18 ounce, it's huge. And it's in this really nice jar that you can, with a really nice lid, look at that. Oh my gosh, this smells so good guys. This smells like beautiful French laundry. Like your laundry has just been drying in the French countryside. <laughs> It is so nice. I love the jars. This one I definitely will reuse. You can definitely reuse these. Look at this sparkling cuvee. It matches my nail polish. These you can also reuse. You know, it's smaller, so it's a different purpose. Maybe a shot glass. I don't really drink like that, but, you know, you do you. But these are also great for, for repurposing, and especially because it has a, a lid on top. So this one I will probably put in my guest bathroom once this is burnt through. And then put, you know, cotton swabs, Q-tips, whatever. So the Valespa French Cade Lavender Candle. And then my final recommendation, I actually picked this up during the Friends and Family Sale. It's the new Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin. I think it's the Yummy Skin Blurring Powder. I'm in the shade 5. You guys, I love this thing. This is what it looks like. It looks like a cream foundation or maybe like a cushion foundation. But when you apply it, it just makes your skin look so smooth. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel heavy. It just melts into your skin. There's a reason that this is sold out. I think it's sold out right now in like every single color. I'm getting a little lighter now. It's, you know, moving towards the winter time. So I might have to move down to a shade if they have four and a half or four. But I just really like this one. It's so good. It just, it's almost like Photoshop for your face. It just blurs everything. Your pores kind of... They don't disappear, but it looks a little smoother. 
and it just melts into your face and it just looks so nice. It gets it gets rid of all my redness. I love this. It has a spatula, which I have never used because I just like to use my beauty blender or brush. If you're looking for one kind of go-to foundation, cream, powder, whatever, check out the Danessa Merrick's Yummy Skin. All right, guys, that is everything that I picked up from the Sephora sale. I think I might have one or two things online. Oh, yeah, I think the Valentino blush something i'm kind of eyeing we'll see but everything i mentioned will be listed in the description including the things that i maybe might have forgotten to mention definitely definitely recommend these perfume samplers these are for sure the best value 72 dollars with 20 percent off and then you get a 150 dollars tom ford fragrance it's just it's just a no-brainer but I hope you enjoyed this quick and messy Sephora haul. Let me know what you are picking up from the sale, what you have picked up from the sale, what you recommend everyone else get. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.